David Hack's Saltwater Ventures, the television series, is being brought to you by Ramora Bay Resort and Marina, Harbor Island, Bahamas, Twin Air Calypso, Bonefish Guide Stuart Clear, and by these fine sponsors. I'm here at Twin Air Calypso and joining me is uh, Clay Gamber who is the president of Twin Air Calypso. Clay, thanks for taking time to join me. Good morning, my pleasure. Tell me a little bit about uh, Twin Air, where you fly to and uh, how long you've been in business. Uh, Twin Air has been operating since uh, our roots go back to 1954 where my parents started operating here off the Fort Lauderdale Airport. We fly into Eleuthera uh, to the three destinations there and also into Abaco to Treasure Cay and Marsh Harbor. Uh, and how many aircraft are you flying? We're presently operating four aircraft and we've got a couple more in refurb. We expect to have a fleet of around seven in time for next winter's uh, schedule. This is not my first time flying Twin Air Calypso. Uh, you moved into a new building, which is very, very nice. And we moved over here in February and uh, it's much more customer friendly and it makes it a lot easier to get on and off the airplanes as well. I will agree about that. All right, Clay, I appreciate you taking time to okay. join me. I know you're busy and we're going to be boarding here shortly. So that's it from uh, Fort Lauderdale here at uh, Twin Air Calypso. We're actually going to Eleuthera, and then from Eleuthera we're going to take a water taxi and go to uh, Harbor Island, and that's where we'll be staying over there at Remora. My flight would depart at 8 a.m. from Fort Lauderdale International Airport and would take about an hour and a half to the North Eleuthera Airport. Twin Air would make stops at Rock Sound and Governor's Harbor before touching down at the North Eleuthera Airport. I made prior arrangements with local taxi driver Keith Smith to pick me up at the airport to take me to the dock, where Sean Majors would be waiting for me with his water taxi for a short five minute ride to Remora Bay. Welcome to North Eleuthera, Harbor Island, Bahamas. My host for this trip will be Ann Ward, who is the general manager of the Remora Resort and Club. I'll be fishing with Stuart Clear, who is going to be my bonefish guide. And a special thanks to Rick Pope from Temple Fork Outfitters in Dallas, Texas for providing the rods and the reels and the fly equipment and a spin tackle. So we're going to be here for about six days, so stick around because we hopefully we're going to get on some good bonefish. I'm here at Remora Bay Resort and Marina and we're going to be doing some bone fishing and my guide is going to be Stuart Clear who's been a bonefish guide here for a number of years. And right now what we're doing is we're rigging up, before we get out there, we're rigging up a spinning uh, rod and a fly rod. And what we're using is a nine foot rod with eight uh, weight line. The reason we bought the spinning rod with it is in a shrimp in case, <laughs> in case I wrap this thing around my neck. Anyway, we're gonna rig up and we're gonna be out of here. Well, we're rigged, so we're, we're gonna be ready to go. All right, Stuart's up on his platform there, which gives him a, an advantage to see the bones in the water or in the murky water, you can see the smoke. We've come up on some fish that are, the bones that are mudding, and what that means is that they're feeding on the bottom and they're leaving a trail of, 
of uh, disturbance in the water of the sand and the mud that they're kicking up while they're nosing, looking for uh, for food. Oh boy, he's making that run. He's making a run, isn't he? You can see how that shrimp come up the line. Get on down and... oh, he's that yeah, he, he's he's seeing that he's seeing a boat and he's uh, spooking. All right, that's a, all right. All right, all right, that's nice. Fish. All right, let's go ahead and release him, Here, Stewart. Okay, I'll just get him. And... Here you go. That's a boat. All right. Turn them upside down to get a little docile. Maybe about what, two, three pounds? Yeah. That's a nice bone to start the day off. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get him back in the water. There you go. See you, Mr. Bonefish. Thank you. Fish on. Oh yeah. Fish on, another bone. Oh, Gonna yeah. be a little bit of a runner. Yeah, he's giving you a little fight. That's good. We need all the fight we can get. Yeah. My run, I mentioned the line that we're running is a 12 pound P line and the uh, Quaya spinning reels along with the spinning rod from Temple Fork. Outfitters, uh, and now he's coming back. He's coming back toward me. Boy, you run right, run away from me now. He's right here at the boat. Okay, I'm gonna bring him right direct to you. There he is, right there. Okay, let's get another shot. Here we go. Come on. All right. Let's get him nice. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and release him. Okay. Okay, nice. Okay, got Go that. I got it. Okay, I'll just get him released. All right, that's what you call a bone. I'll cut him out. And there he goes. And there he goes. All right. We're using a new system here called GoPro. And this is these little cameras that are HD cameras. And the uh, got several different mounts. This one fits on a on a post mount. Uh, it's got a waterproof housing. It uh, records on a memory card. This waterproof housing is good to 180 feet. Uh, but they are a fantastic little camera. I, I can't believe that they got that much technology crammed into this little bitty camera. They're lightweight. Um, if you want any good underwater shots or for your boat, they've got several different mounts for them. Um, they got the uh, roll bar mount, the seat post mount. They got mounts that you can mount on your boat and you know uh, move the camera around wherever you want to move them. But uh, they are an excellent little camera uh, for the sport fisherman. I love them. He's coming at you. No, there he is right there, a little small one. You got a little small bone. You can just little take him right bone. out the water. Wow. <laughs> He's a tough one though. Let me hey, look at that. <laughs> Second cast. A little scrapper. A little scrapper, huh? All right, bring him over and let, let's get Stuart to get him off. All right. That's a little bone. Small one, though. They all got to eat. Yeah, these guys got to get a little bigger. Yeah, we let these guys go back. Go back to mama. Get out. All right, go ahead. Let's do a release on him. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Line is out. Thank Dave Hack and Saltwater Ventures for inviting me on this trip. 
here at Remora Bay, Bahamas. little fighter. Just bring him right down here and we'll just... He's a little fighter. There he is. A little fighter. Yeah, about that in that area. Yeah, that's what you got a bone. No teeth in their mouth. See, you can put your finger in there and just... They just squeeze down on it. That's all they do. Okay, we're just gonna let him go. Okay. All right, see you later. Boat enthusiasts, yacht owners, and families with a flair for the finer things in life all find their way to Ramora Bay Resort and Marina. Over 300 years old, a Bahamian settlement with rich maritime history, Dunmore Town in Harbor Island served as the first capital of the Bahamas. This historic town is a unique blend of New England architecture and Caribbean color. Ramora Bay would like to invite you to join them under the swaying palms, hibiscus, bougainvilleas, and jasmine and relax amongst the island's natural beauty where you can meet new friends and old friends. I recommend when you're here on Harbor Island to stop at the Dilly Dally gift shop. This is a place to come and shop, the Dilly Dally. There's no better way to protect yourself and your family from the damaging rays of the sun than with Banana Boat. Our proven Avo Triplex formula protects three ways. Now against sunburn with UVB protection, later against aging and skin damage with UVA protection, and longer than other sunscreens as it doesn't break down. It's like having the best personal sun protection at your service. Banana Boat, unbeatable protection. Now, later, longer. Tom Green's custom rod and reel carries all the top brands in conventional as well as electric rods and reels and can build custom rods to your specific specifications. They have a well-stocked inventory of tournament baits and can ship bait and tackle daily worldwide. Their expert staff can do a complete rod and reel restoration for you. Shop Custom Rod and Reel located in Lighthouse Point, Florida for all your tackle needs or call 954-781-5600. With me now is Ann Ward who is the General Manager of Remora Bay Resort and Marina. And uh, Ann, thanks for joining me and hosting the show once again. Welcome, thanks. We welcome you guys back once again this year and uh, glad to have you. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Uh, tell me about uh, Remora Bay. How many cottages do you have? Um, we have 15 traditional style hotel rooms here. The amenities in those include um, uh, cable TV, air conditioning, um, daily maid service, uh, laundry service, uh, and the other amenities associated with the resort, the food and beverage, and the marina. And they're very, very nice. Tell me about the restaurant and what you've got going on down there. Um, well, we actually have two uh, different restaurant facilities, one that serves breakfast, which is called our Hilltop Terrace, and that's our Starbucks coffee shop, and uh, breakfast serves uh, tr typically and traditionally five days a week, seven days in high season, uh, from 7.30 to 11, and then our uh, seaside restaurant is a casual uh, seaside venue called Sunsets on the Bay at Remora Bay, open to the public and open as well open to our marina and our hotel rooms. That's serving lunch and dinner seven days a week, All anything uh, from Bahamian to American-fused cuisine. And the cuisine is very good. The other thing is, how many slips do you have? Uh, we have 40 slips here at Remora Bay. Right. And do you have a fuel dock? We do not. No fuel. Um, okay. We actually chose not to install a fuel dock. There's uh, fuel at the government dock on Harbor Island, as well as uh, to the south and north uh, neighboring marinas. And what's the largest uh, vessel that you can uh, accommodate? 150 feet. And he slips from 30 to 150 feet at Remora Bay. 
Well, that pretty much covers it. Uh, I can't think of anything else. Once again, thanks again. I appreciate it. Uh, we've really enjoyed to stay again here at Remora Bay. It couldn't be nicer. And thank you so much. You're welcome. Terrific. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Hope you got enough line on that reel. Look at that. That's a nice fish. All right. Yes, sir. Gonna be a stripper. Feels like a little bit better fish. It's taking yep. some line out. Yeah, he's coming back. Got you yourself. There he goes. Marlin. Yep. Big shad. Okay. Well, he's got some big eyes. Look at that. Yeah. Hold him up sideways a little more. There you go. All right. Well, this is a strong fish. I hope it's a bone. The way it's he picked it up. It, it's, a, it's a bone. The way he picked it up, it was a bone. It's a, he picked it up different. Yeah, he did. Oh, yeah, that's a bone. That's a bone. That's a bone. All right. That's a brown grub right there. That's the light right there. All right, there you go. All right, go back to mama. See you later. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Stuart, we fished all morning till about, what, uh, 11, 11.30. We uh, came back in over there to Remora Bay. We all took a little break, and, and then we decided we'd come back out and fish this afternoon and see if we couldn't get on some more fish. And unfortunately, the fish have uh, changed their mind. We had a great morning, but this afternoon has been just a little slow. Yeah, I think the fish are, you know, being a little strange sometimes, you know because sometimes they get in that little move, and yeah. sometimes they want to bite, and sometimes they don't want to bite. And also, the wind has picked up and has made it a little more difficult. Uh, but we've seen over here in this deep water, we saw a big school, and we had one on, but uh, unfortunately, he threw the hook. Yeah, I think right at that time, I believe that the fish maybe was not hooked right, but we had a few good runs, right. and that was great. Tell me about your operation. How long have you been in business? Okay, well, I've been doing bone fishing now about uh, 23 years, and uh, it's been accessible. Well, some days was, you know, down, some days up, but it's been pretty good. What, uh, what type of trips do you do? You do half-day, full-day trips? Sure, I do half-days, and some days I do full days, like from 9 to 4. That's the full day, half a day from 9 to 1. Tell me about your boat. Well, this boat, I had this boat now over 12, 15 years. 
and it's been doing the right type of job that I want it to do. It can get in very shallow water, less than a foot, and it does a great job. If you don't know uh, a lot about bone fishing, I guarantee you Stuart will teach you how to do it. Stuart, thanks a lot. I look forward to coming back with you again, and the best of luck uh, with, the, uh, with, the with the guide service. Well, I'm glad to have you guys here. So it's, I'm enjoying myself, and next time when you come again, both of you, you'll know how to really, that fly rod that we, I teach you, <laughs> that you'll be putting it down just like how we want it to be. Uh, on behalf of myself and John and Stuart here from uh, Harbor Town, north of Luther of the Bahamas, thanks for watching. <laughs>